Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make this cute little multi-purpose accessory thing so you can wear it as like a little bolero as you saw in the thumbnail or you could wear it as a little scarf. For this I did knit it so it's not really like one of my usual videos where I crochet but I think knitting looks a lot better and I like how it's got a bit more stretch than crocheting and it also uses less yarn than crocheting. First off, you will need some knitting needles. I don't know what size mine are, but they do say 6.0 at like the ends. So maybe that's like the size, but they're just like this. They're pretty long, but you don't really need ones that are that long. It's just purely dependent on how wide you want your sleeves to be. So first thing, we are going to start at one edge of our sleeve. And here I'll be using some white yarn to show you guys how it's done because I find that um, it just shows up better in videos. So I've just got a slip knot. I'll show you guys how to make one actually. So I like to just go like this and then place that th strand in the middle there and then you're going to pull it like that and then just tighten to create a little loop. Now you're going to place that loop onto your knitting needle and you're going to pull on the tail to just tighten it a little bit. And now with your fingers, you're going to place them like this. And this is my like ball of yarn over here. And then you're going to flip it and then put your needle into it and then tighten. So that creates a loop on your knitting needle. So again, you're going to hold your yarn like this, flip it and then put, thread it through your needle. And again, Just like that, um, you can see you've got this little couple of stitches on your needle and you're going to do this until you're happy with the width of it. So I cast it on 40 stitches um, at the start but I find that it is actually a bit too wide so I will probably recommend that you do a bit less if you're the same size as me my 40 stitches turned out to be about 22 centimeters and that is just for reference for this demonstration i'll only cast on this many stitches anyway once you're happy with the width of stitches that you've got on your needle you're going to grab your other one and we are going to start knitting so the pattern for this sort of like look is a row of knit and a row of pearl and then you like repeat that so that's exactly what we're going to do I'm going to start off by knitting the first row so here I'm going to insert my needle through into the first stitch like that and then grabbing onto my yarn I'm going to just do a loop around my right needle and then I'm going to pull that loop through like this and then take that off the left needle just like that and then I'm going to do that in every single stitch along my row and this is like probably not how you meant to hold your knitting needles but this is how I do it because I guess it just works for me and so you know if you've got a better technique definitely stick to that here I'm just on my last stitch so I'm still going to knit into it like that and that is our first row completed it looks a bit disappointing at the moment but you know pearl is like basically i would describe as the opposite of a knit stitch so i'll just show you guys how to pearl so here you're going to insert your needle this way so it's on top of your left needle like that and then grabbing onto your yarn you're going to wrap it around your right needle from left to right so you're going to go like this and same thing again you're just going to pull that through and then like that and then you're going to do it again so inserting your needle like this and then going from left to right and you're going to there we go 
and that is how you purl so you're going to purl into every single stitch until you reach the end of your row and as i said previously the pattern for today's project will just be a row of knit and a row of purl and you just need to repeat that until your knit becomes long enough for your wingspan and i've just finished my second row and you can already sort of see the little knit coming together and it looks very much like this so for my third row i'm obviously going to be knitting again so just a little refresher you're going to insert your needle into the first stitch like this making sure that it, it is below the left needle you're going to wrap your yarn like that and then you're just going to pull that through and take it off the left needle and now you just have to repeat this step until you reach the end of the row again where you will start purling into the next row so this is what my little knit looks like so far and you're going to be doing it you're going to be knitting and purling until you reach your desired length for the sleeve and mine was 145 centimeters long I did lose count of how many rows I did just because it was so freaking long. Okay, so here is my bolero. It is very, very long. And now I'm going to show you guys how to cast off. So first things first, you're going to grab your other needle. And then I like to just push everything closer to the tip of this needle. So we're going to insert our needle into the first little loop here. And then we're just going to knit a stitch like that and then we're also going to knit into the second stitch here so now as you can see we've got two stitches on this needle here so we're just going to pull over the first loop over the second and I'm really bad at doing this so I sort of have to use my fingers and it's like I have terrible technique when it comes to this but it, if it works it works and there we go once you've done that you should only have one loop on your needle so now we're going to knit into the next stitch like that and then same thing again you're going to pull the first loop over the second loop There we go and now you should only have one loop on i mean on your needle again so you're just going to repeat this until you have one loop on your needle Alright, so this is what it looks like so far, and I'm going to do the rest of them off camera just because it's too hard doing it on here. And I'll see you guys soon. Here, as you can see, I've cast it off all the way across, and I've only got one stitch on my needle now. So I'm just going to take that, take my needle out, and then pull the tail of my yarn through that loop. And tighten that because that creates a knot for us so all of our hard work doesn't come undone i'm not gonna lie but this probably took me four months to knit just because i'm not that productive and i can't like knit a lot in one sitting just because it is kind of boring and yeah now we're going to thread through some ribbons just to sort of attach the two sides together like the original photo that we're trying to read so here I got some ribbon, it's like this really beautiful cornflower blue sort of colour and it is 9mm wide, so about a centimetre and ideally I would want a thicker ribbon just, just because I think it looks nicer but I don't have any at the moment. First strand I'm going to um, insert into this little loop here. like this and then I'm going to grab this end and insert it into 
the same row on the other side. This is basically just like threading through shoelaces and then it will just tie like that. I will say for this step though, you might want to like put your arm through it just to see, you know, how long you want your ribbon to be. Like that, and then I can just do a little bow. Okay, I just realized I made it really wide for my wrist. Like, this could literally overlap. I don't know why I did that, but anyway, I don't really need a whole lot of ribbon here. I'm just gonna tie a bow to see how much ribbon that would take. And I'm thinking for my arm, I want there to be one, two, three, four ties total. So once you sort of measured out how long you want your ribbon to be, you can just like cut it off. Anyway, and I'm going to undo that just so I can measure the same length for my other arm. about that much and then I'm going to just thread it through my other arm and I'm going to tie that into a little bow Okay, so I've made it pretty wide for my whole arm by the looks of it. So I can pretty much just cut the same amount of ribbon each time because I know it's going to be enough no matter what, just because this part already sort of overlaps. And the ribbons are just for the aesthetics. They don't actually do a whole lot. Like that. And then I'm going to cut another one for my other arm, obviously. I'm also going to later put on some fabric glue just to the ends of my ribbon because once you cut it, it sort of frays a little bit. Um, or alternative, alternatively, you can use a candle and sort of just burn the edges a little bit and that kind of um, seals it and stops it from fraying. And this is what it looks like. It's literally so pretty. I actually love it so much. And yeah, I think you get how this the ribbon part is done now, so I might just go ahead and do the rest of these off camera and then I'll come back and show you guys the final result. Hey guys, so I've just done all the ribbons and I've put it on. I gotta say, this is like very impractical, but I think it is very cute, so I'll probably only wear it once or twice. But the good thing is you can also wear it as a little scarf in winter and, you know, the little ribbons just add a super cute little touch. And yeah, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you made this, please tag me in it so I can see it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.